Ariana, are you still hungry? Um, I could eat. Well then, let's cook. There is love deep within the word food. My mom says, if you eat good, you'll feel good. That food is the ultimate mediator, and no meal can beat gumbo. Can beat hot pot. It's, it's a one pot dish that comes together when people come together. It's not just soup. It's soul, and my soul longs to know if I can eat my way, beats my way through history to make the food that is up in your bowl. We look for herbs deep within the ground for our roots to ruin the picking to slavery. We prepare seafood because my people have spent so much time crossing the sea, it starts to feel like home. Do you smell the onion, the garlic, the bay leaf? The meal is, is coming, coming together. together. We add noodles, thinly sliced meat, piles of mushrooms and leafy greens. Communal cooking is, is a, a symphony, symphony and we use chopsticks to direct the movement. My people have been doing this for centuries. Gathering at this watering hole, reuniting with family. We mix and match and take in place to make sure that everyone, everyone eats. In my house is the sending another plate before everyone has had their first serving. Cooking is our community, and, and I, I want, want to cook, cook like my, my grandma, grandma, but she, she doesn't, doesn't use any recipes. Recipes are, are, recipes are for replication. And repetition means nothing to people who have only experienced inconsistency from the law. As immigrants, as enslaved, my ancestors received the receipts of other people's meals, telling them that this, this is, is what, what we must pay to keep America satisfied over generations. Over generations, we've been forced to find the right flavors for America's palate to be the dish that everyone likes. Because America doesn't see one pot and think of a meal to be shared. No, no. America sees one pot and thinks homogenized. Thinks assimilate, thinks, thinks that's, that's too, too spicy, spicy thinks, thinks watery it down, down, but hot pot. But hot pot requires, requires love. love. The most basic secret ingredient that is hard to find here. Stores won't stock what is not in demand. If they stockpile chemicals, preservatives, and dyes. We demand you see beyond the artificial food, that artificial community. Listen, Listen to, to our hearts, hearts so you can measure with yours because family is who you share your meals with. And community is who will risk the curse, the raw, the craft, the tears, the blood, the scrapes, the food on your plate. It might be painful to stomach the weight of the past. To set the table for future generations. But my family sits in the presence when they say I love you. It sounds like Nichir Lama. Have you eaten yet? It sounds like... Baby, you know there's food in the kitchen. There are things, there are things that recipe books can't imitate. Because no one pot is the same. No, no one poet is the same. Watch how we melt together. And while they may taste different, gumbo, hot pot, conjures memories, carries struggles, captures love. <laughs> Now, Ariana, are you still hungry? Nah, we ate. Yeah. Yeah. Give it up. Give